Lesson 27, Law of Exponents. So when um, we have an exponent, say 3 squared, and we want to multiply it by another exponent that has the same base. What this means, the 3 squared just means that we're doing 3 times 3, and the 3 to the 5th power, so we're timesing 3 squared times 3 to the 5th, is just multiplying 5 3's together, and that just equals 3 raised to the 2 plus 5 power. If you notice, there's 2 here, and then we're adding another 5. So the final answer is just 3 to the 7th power. So we can just add exponents if we're multiplying and the base is the same. An example with dividing exponents, let's say we had 3 to the 4th divided by 3 squared. So what this means is we're going to have four threes multiplied together in the numerator and two of them in the denominator. Now we can cancel one of them and we can cancel another one of them. And that just equals three to the four minus two or three squared, which is what we have left in the numerator. So when we are dividing um, using exponents with the same base, you're going to subtract the exponents. Now if we are raising a power to a power, so that's like saying 3 cubed to the fourth power, that just means we're going to multiply 3 cubed by itself four different times. So if you notice, this equals 3 raised to the 3 times 4th power, which is 3 to the 12th. So if you were looking, we'd have 12 threes here. Let's put a little dot right here instead of parentheses. I want to change that so it looks right. Put a little dot. There we go. So we have 12 threes being multiplied. We just had to multiply the powers. So an example where we have the uh, dividing, and we have the basis the same. And remember up here we said when we divide, we subtract. So we have 3 to the 2 minus 2, which is 3 to the 0 power. And I don't know if you remember, but anything raised to the 0 power is just 1, which makes perfect sense because we have the same thing in the numerator as the denominator. So here are some laws of exponents. I did not print out a sheet for you to put in your reference, but you might want to recopy this back in the reference section. You will probably look at it quite often. So if we have the same base and we are multiplying with different exponents, we just add the exponents and keep the same base. If we are dividing x to the a divided by x to the b, we subtract exponents. And this is as long as x does not equal 0. So this is key when you're doing division. We cannot have the base equal to 0. If we have x raised to a power and then that raised to a power, then we multiply a times b to get the new exponent. And one last law of exponents is x to the 0 equals 1 for any x. And that's the end of our lesson.